Hey guys, good morning. Um, I'd like to thank you guys who reached out and uh, emailed me or messaged me, as well as some past and present clients who were reaching out as well. <clears throat> I've been give or take six weeks, and I've only put up uh, four YouTube videos. I've done almost no marketing, uh, very little of it, and I've basically just been uh, busy with my clients in person and online. I haven't really even been um, writing anything. Now, the reason for this is uh, pretty simple. Uh, I've just been very depressed lately. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm trying to come out of it, and the way you come out of depression is the same way you always come out of depression, and we've all been there before. But again, not to be kind of a downer, but today's video is about depression. So, this is something I've suffered from the vast majority of my life. Anybody who's followed me kind of knows a little bit about uh, my childhood and what that was like, as well as a lot of the really pretty horrible things I've been through in my life. In regards to depression, I have successfully uh, unalived myself because of YouTube regulations three times. Uh, three times I woke up, um, oh, sorry, twice I woke up in a hospital, once in the back of an ambulance. Um, through those three suicide attempts, I did quite a bit of damage to my body. I attempted suicide a fourth time uh, several years ago. Now, I'm telling you this as a coach, somebody who coaches people, somebody who coaches people through depression, suicide, who builds their bodies and muscles, who trains them with their respiratory system, their supplements, their sleep, and all these things. Now, the reason I'm talking about myself, my personal battles with depression and the things I go through is because um, a lot of people have depression. They don't know why. They don't understand how to get rid of it. Uh, they think there's something wrong with them if they're depressed. Lots of times it's perfectly acceptable to be depressed. Um, if, you're bottom, if you're at the bottom of the cultural hierarchy, if you have no money, if you have no job, if you have no purpose, if you have no friends, if you have no family, you're going to be depressed. Uh, coming up in this world, it's very easy to see how people do get depressed. I'm fortunate in the fact that I enjoy my own company and I enjoy being alone, generally speaking. These past couple months have been very difficult for me. I've had quite a few people I love very dearly um, leave me. <clears throat> I myself have gone through quite a bit of pain. Again, as a lot of you guys know, these past couple months I've been going through a lot of shit in and out of the hospital. Now, with all this said, basically I'm functionally depressed. So I'm still working 16, 17 hours a day. I'm not doing as much as I should be uh, with, again, with my marketing, with my articles, with my writing, but I am doing everything in my power to help my clients, which is really keeping me going. It's really uh, keeping me happy, not as depressed, keeping me focused on my clients as opposed to myself, but that's just kind of a band-aid. You do have to address the issues yourself. Now, my issues, I won't bore you with why I'm depressed, uh, but I am working on fixing them, and I'm working on getting better and happier and more mentally healthy. That being said, I've spent probably a good 10 or even 15 years of my life being functionally depressed, meaning I don't want to get out of bed, I don't want to work out, I don't want to eat, I don't want to work, um, I don't want to do any of these things, and I force myself to do them anyways, and it's the forcing yourself to do them by tracking your progress daily that you get out of depression. Now, I know this is hard, when you're depressed, again, I hate to just keep repeating the word depressed, but there's no other word. People, when they're younger, when they're, you know, their teenage years, their 20s, they think they're depressed. They're just sad. They're not actually depressed. They don't really know what depression is. Um, again, just without getting too much into it, the reason I can speak on this the way I have is because it's been most of my life. I've had many different uh, issues, again, as you guys well know. <clears throat> And you can get depression for any number of reasons. It doesn't even need to be, as I've said, um, a logical one. It could also just be you get a concussion. Could be you go through a bad breakup. Could be you lose your job through no fault of your own. Could be you lose a limb. Your health suddenly declines. You get terrible news. All of these things cause depression. And, I mean, most... Anyone I've ever met has had large periods of depression in their life. Some of them where they recognized it, some of them where they didn't recognize it. But the first step is to recognize you're depressed, that you're lethargic, you're not spending time with other people, you're not doing the things you want to do, nothing brings you joy anymore. 
I mean, just to give you guys uh, some some warning signs, I guess, uh, for me personally, uh, I completely stopped laughing. Uh, I stopped socializing. I have no desire to, um, to do anything that brings me joy anymore. So I'm no longer doing uh, any art. I'm not building projects. I'm not writing. I'm not making YouTube videos. I'm not, I'm not doing these things that really like, bring me joy. I'm basically forcing myself to do the bare minimum, slogging through uh, my day and my clients. I'll start joking about suicide and how nice it would be if I wasn't here. Start making jokes about kind of how I would be killing myself. Now these are all definitely depressed, suicidal thoughts that I'm having, but I'll recognize, I'll bring them up in conversation and then I'll catch myself and see that I'm doing it. Most people aren't aware of this. If I'm going to be listening to music, my music choice would be something sad, sad songs, sad classical songs, and then I would recognize I'm, I'm doing it again, I'm listening to these things which is just feeding my depression, and I have to stop, so I'll stop and I'll put something upbeat on, or I just won't listen to music, I'll go for a walk, I'll, I'll do something. Now, again, I don't want to just keep going on about this, but if you do find yourself in this place where you're upset, where you're depressed, where you don't want to do anything, where you have no money, you have no relationships, you have no family members, you're gonna be depressed. That's the way it is, the world sucks, the world is hard. No one is gonna help you, no one cares that you're depressed. No one is gonna go out of their way to assist you if you're depressed, you have to do it yourself, just like anything else in life. So, I want you to think about it. Analyze your life, why are you depressed? Write down the reasons, figure it out. Then, think about exactly what you have to do to get rid of that. So if you're depressed just because you never spend time around people, Go spend some time around people. If you're depressed because you don't have any money, come up with a plan to make money. If you're depressed because your health is poor, come up with a plan to fix your health. Now, by implementing these actions slowly, and I do mean slowly with no ego, so five minutes of this, one minute of this, etc., you'll make a lot of progress. I just wanted to make this video real quick, guys. I know I have a lot of projects I've promised you guys I'm working on, so I wanted to give you an update on that at the end of this video real quick. I am currently working on a complete hypertrophy manual with all forms and styles of exercise included in it for you guys. I'm working on a to-do list calendar for the general population who wants to lose fat, uh, correct their breathing, and build muscle uh, rapidly. It's a little to-do list calendar I'm working on. I'm working on my 10th book. This is all about breathing. And I'm also working in my 11th book at the same time, which is going to be just all 10 of my books combined into one big book. Now, if you guys, uh, you know, if you guys want coaching, hit me up. If you guys want any of my books, go to my Etsy store. If you want to see more of my personal life, go to my Facebook, Castle Thompson, or my Instagram, Coach Castle. I just restarted those. I'm going to start sharing personal parts of my life. Again, something I'm going to do to kind of work myself out of my depression. Generally, I'm a very private person. I don't like people to know what's going on in my life. But I'm going to try just for a little while sharing some of myself. If you don't already follow my YouTube community, I would urge you to because I post lots of cool stuff there. And I do upload uh, articles to my Substack at least a couple every month. And uh, I'm going to be trying to get back to doing at least five or six YouTube videos a week about varying topics and going to try to get back to doing three or four articles a week, as well as just uh, helping you guys out as much as I can and going live maybe once a week as well to answer you guys' questions. So as always, if you guys ever want to help and support me, you just go to my website. You go to my Etsy store, you leave a comment, uh, whatever, and uh, nobody worry about me. I'm going to get myself out of this just like I always do. Just give me a little time. Uh, in the meantime, don't worry about it. Behind the scenes, I'm going to be doing everything I can to help you all, just like always. So everybody, have a great week, and uh, I will talk to you all soon.